Yes, we are. Um, so yeah, so I wanted to look at this one because it was very popular. I didn't get a chance to look at it at all. Um, I've only heard a few quotes, just a, just a couple quotes from it um, that I thought were pretty telling. Uh, but this is against Denver Nuggets. So this is actually after Wimby faced Jokic and he didn't have a great showing by any means. Well, not by his standard. Um, so I definitely want to see what he had to say there. And we'll also do some videos on some of these other ones that we did not keep up with because we have not been watching a lot of post game interviews because usually when we go live uh it takes forever for these to be uploaded for us to even go over them so this might be pretty interesting to see and maybe closed captions is on as well um now before we get into that really quickly i want to bring something up um if you guys hold on here we go there we go uh anyways if you guys want to support the channel, this is a way of doing so. So big shout out to BetUS for sponsoring this video, this live stream for the majority, the entirety actually of this season. Um, and if you guys are interested, if you go to the link in my description, you'll receive 125% bonus on your first three deposits. What does that mean? You put in $100, you get $125 to play with. That's $225 right there. Um, and it's up to $2,500. Just use promo code JOIN125, link below in the description. Um, but one thing that I found interesting, we actually talked about it a little earlier, is NBA specials. And I absolutely love these so you can see here one bet that's a really good one victor Wimbanyama to record a quadruple double in 23 24 season uh if it if you're gonna go with yes money line four thousand and total risk you can only go up to 10 but you will get four hundred dollars so that is what you could pot potentially make uh from that wager so if you guys are interested link in my description uh please 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 use promo code join 125 and like i said you'll receive 125 percent bonus on your first three deposits as long as you use that promo code you go through my Link. Bet US, America's favorite sportsbook and casino. Live betting and racebook. We're celebrating 30 years with a historic offer. A 125% sign-up bonus on your first three deposits. Plus 10% gambler's insurance. Get started today. Bet US, where the game begins. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this wonderful showing here. Um, man, listen to that Louis V Fiesta. It's so hard. Guys, we got to talk about fashion, all right? You think this is hard? <sighs> guys, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I mean, I know I'm new to the fashion game. Okay, just sped up like I want it to be. I know I'm new to the fashion game, okay? And obviously, right now, this is not fashion. This is literally, I'm just chilling in my house, okay? I'm just, just animate up. I don't care. Um, but I've been really working on my fashion, really working on my wardrobe, spent way too much money on a uh, wardrobe, uh, recently. And I just, I don't think this is swag. I don't, I don't. It's just, it's just a symbol. It's like, it's just that you got Louis Vuitton. Like that's it. It's just, you got Louis. I wonder if people would actually like it. If the LV wasn't on it, you have no drip. I have drip. Okay. I got some drip. I do. I completely forgot to show you guys my graphic tees for the from the last yeah i totally forgot i just you you let me forget i got drip mm. controlling the pace of the game never being in a hurry and um and my game's teammates better on the first position of the game he tried to back you down and you blocked it um, did you notice that he made any adjustments um from there when he got that situation again from this situation not necessarily but from other things yeah and, uh, i guess i guess my problem is i just don't like things as gaudy is that the thing i just I, that's that's the only thing i just don't like things as gaudy that surprised me you know he, he read our uh he read our defense for in, in a specific situation and he you guys can't hear this destroyed us for some time uh, mentioned that maybe you guys gave a little bit too much respect at the beginning and hence you know them getting out to a big lead did you kind of see it that way? Yeah, yeah, maybe. You know, gotta watch the game again, but I think uh, I think it's true. Was it maybe not just them, but you know, the environment being up here and the whole deal? Maybe that play into it's kind of a different element altogether. I don't know. 
I don't, I don't, I don't know. We were just as motivated. I will say, I do like his necklace. That is drip. All right. It is every game, but it, uh, yeah, I think we gave him too much respect. Did it feel like a home game? What you make of the atmosphere just playing? playing yeah, it felt like a home game. Uh, this is fire. It's not just the LV. Is that the custom Fiesta colorway? Is is this? This seems. This doesn't seem. Is it the Spurs colorway? I mean, there's a lot of green in it. Is is this? It's like you're vaguely gesturing at the Fiesta with the gold chain. I do like the gold chain, Guru. I said I like the gold chain. First time. This is my uh, second time. We've been here in the, in the preseason in the team. Victor, how much does the responsibility of kind of intending to be an ambassador for this team, whether it's people asking you about Austin, you know, having to come in here an hour after another loss, is, is that weighing on you in any way, or are you embracing all of that kind of off the court responsibility? Um, it's, a, it's kind of a two-edged sword because it's a uh, of course, it's it's mentally tiring, but uh, and I mean it's and it's hard also to to stay you know polite every day you know. And stuff. Oh, is our Fiesta colorway got green in it? Okay, I have to go back and look at it. I, I didn't. If that's the case, then I will give it a pass. <laughs> I wouldn't wear it though. But you know, it's a uh, it's um it's part of the job, and also it allows me to make you know to give some yeah, messages. Is, bro. Uh, okay. You know, who, that are important to me. You know. I digress. I digress. To, to defend my, my teammates, you know, so it's it's also uh, very useful, so it's part of the job. Do you remember the day before the draft in New York when you said, at a hotel, you said you wanted to be the best at the press conference? Mm -hmm. Is that still for the old years? Of course, you no, know, it's, I mean, it's, it can only, can only help me in my life, and the bad things can only hurt me, so uh, I still do. Uh, you said the other day that everything's on the table as far as improving the team, trade, you know, free agency, everything. Jokic said Wimby was talented. Jokic also said Chet needs to be fatter. Dang. Really? Would you like to see that happen sooner rather than later? Of course, yeah. It's, uh, I mean, um, more and more I'm part of the, you know, the, the strategy for, for the future. And, uh, oh, wait. I missed something. Hold on. More and more. Sooner rather than later. The team, trade, you know, free agency, everything. Would you like to see things on the table as far as improving the team, trade, you know, free agency, everything? Oh, I can't believe this didn't like blow up. Okay, I'm I'm really shocked this didn't blow up. Um, that was definitely a leading question, sort of like, ah, oh, he packed on the question that made it tough to answer. So he basically asked, like, you know, do you want some changes in free agency? You know, some guys that are available like Trey. And I'm assuming he's Trey Young. I am shocked that this didn't blow up. Huh. Of course, yeah. It's, uh, I mean, um, more and more I'm part of the, you know, the, the strategy for, for the future. And uh, it's, um, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's tricky, you know. Uh, so as I learned throughout the year more and more about the, how, how it actually works, um, it felt like it's a it's a big big challenge for for the front offices to you know to to not screw everything up and to build something for the future. So it's a uh, so um, of course uh, um, I'm eager to you know to, to win, but it's at the same time we have to be patient and uh, trust the process. But of course, it's what these people that say Wimby's gonna leave after the season or whatever like the, those really dumb comments. Um, why don't they take this and run with this? He said he has to be patient. Um, obviously, he's eager, but he has to be patient. He understands that it's really tough for front office. Wimby, let me let me say this, okay? Let me just be let me just be transparent with this. Wimby is one of those players that he's so honest to the point where sometimes I'm sitting back and I'm like, do not answer this question directly because you know how people are going to run with certain things. But he's honest. I don't think there's been one time where I listened to Vic. And I thought that he was genuinely being like disingenuous. I think it was like one time in which he was talking, and we went over this. I think he was talking about like a specific play. And he was like, yes, I don't, I don't remember. I think when he was waiting to dunk the ball or something, and he was obviously showboating a little bit. And he was like, oh, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But like, you could tell that he was like really being, uh, you know, he was being, he was being a little bit of a, a little jerk there. Right. Uh, it's facetious the word. I think the facetious might be the word I'm looking for. 
Um, but yeah, so he, he was definitely being, you know, you know, a little, a little snarky there. Uh, but other than that, everything that he said, he's always been pretty honest. I remember even uh, when he first got to to San Antonio or when he was in the summer league, he openly said, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing out there. Like, I was so confused. I have no idea. And like some guys would really be worried about their image there, but he wasn't like he will drop. He will drop all ego and just tell the truth and be honest about every single thing. Um, so I completely believe him when he says, yes, I am eager. Also, yes, I understand the process is complicated. Yes, I understand the plan. And yes, I am on board. That's what I'm getting from Wimby. I don't know why anybody would trip about this. Our job is to make it happen as soon as possible. Coming back on the game, it seems like Denver did a great job at like, getting you involved out of trouble. Um, how do you um, said, uh, what clan did you notice at rising stars they spelled wimby's name wrong during intros he had an interview where he looked pissed and checked his name tag the spurs and nba need to check that first off that's a while ago second i did not know about that no suspended for the season no i think that's a fake tweet dude they're not suspended uh-uh they're not suspended. Talking about Anthony Black or yeah, Anthony Black and, and Grady Grady. No, they're not. They're not suspended. I think I did a couple mistakes in that regard, but um, yeah, I mean they they, they weren't they, they didn't back down. They weren't scared of challenging me at the rim. So it's uh, uh today it works, you know. But it's uh, this is where you see an experienced team. They you know they try to hurt us in every area that they can. There, there was a jet ball where it looked like Jokic was just chatting with you a little bit. What was what was he telling you at that moment? Just some, uh, some insight on that. That was funny, but pause on that. That was so funny. That was such a good joke, dude. I didn't even catch it Like at first. I was just like, oh, that's weird that they're jersey sw swapping. And then I jumped on Instagram like hours later and looked at the picture again because somebody just posted. I was like, oh, wait, <laughs> that's funny. Not, not uh, what not to do, you know, on, uh, on defense. Like taking your feet, that kind of thing? Well, Something, but I'll keep it to myself. <laughs> He was giving you a little tutorial. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you get that a lot? Uh, no, not a lot. Yeah. Just some some guys, yeah, but not a lot. Do you get trash talked at all? Yeah, I mean some 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 guys try, but yes. <laughs> yeah. Who was the worst at it? I mean, very... Wimby, don't answer. Just don't answer. Just say I prefer not to answer. Just don't. You don't have to answer, dude. I really hope Wim Wimby talks too much. It was good that he kept that information from for himself. They're wondering, right now, they're wondering whether or not that was trash talk with the whole Jokic thing, which I think I can kind of read it either way. I have no idea. I don't know. Because Duncan would do that, but Duncan would do it in like a kind of a trash talky way. Oh, gosh. Barely, you know, it doesn't happen very often, but I, there wasn't even one time that marked me or, you know. Yeah, none of it matters. There you go. That's the answer. It doesn't matter. I don't care. It happens, but it's, you know, I have other things to focus on. Is there Obviously, you're an enthusiastic student. Uh, I know you guys, the season's such a grind. Do you have time to study other players? And, and yeah, tell us everything, Vic. Vic, Vic, uh, do you have a girlfriend, Vic? Vic, have you ever considered uh, cheating on her? Vic, Vic, please answer the question. <clears throat> of course, yeah. It's, um... Have you ever rubbernecked? Vic, Vic, have you ever rubbernecked while you were with your girlfriend? Please tell us. And Vic an answer too. Yes, yes. Actually, last night we were, you know, we were in, in Kroger and I rubbernecked, you know, to see. Like he would do it. He would answer it in a heartbeat. I saw, I saw a baddie walk by. Yeah, he he would do it. And it's also something that the the coaching staff does a great job at providing players with a video analysis of talking to the vets. Did, did OJ do it, Vic? Oh, yes. I talked to OJ. He, uh, he definitely did it. Us, but also other players. So it's it's something um, that, that I do regularly and that we do. So, I mean, it's a long season, but it's we got a lot of, lot of times in, in the plane, for example. So it's something we can do. Who do you enjoy watching? Right now? I mean, Pop showed me, recently showed me some clips of uh, Hakeem. And, uh, okay, y'all wild and dude. Chill out. So, yeah. So it's, uh, I mean, uh, he likes to show me from every era. Jokic has said that he, he, he 
think he's big. He's seven foot four. Yes. He's tall. All right. Now everybody shut up. Chill. Some sort of feedback from him on the court and just sort of knowing what he's already accomplished. Mm -hmm. I know, bro. Um, you know, same time at the same time, so, uh, somebody I want to compete against for years and uh, give a hundred percent against. Um, but also somebody, someone I respect a lot, you know. So it's uh, it's, I know I hope the few I hope it's gonna be great battles for the future, and uh, it's uh, you know they they might go back to back this year, so it's you know the the, the whole project is. Very, very nice. Oh, it's in French. He's tall, clan. Yeah, exactly. I just, I just got here and I see chat wild. Yeah, yeah, chat's wild. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. I don't want to, I don't want to like put anybody in timeout. All right. Don't make me put you in timeout. You guys have been great all night. You got to chill, chill a little bit. Okay. Just chill a little bit. Um, but yeah, anyways, good interview. Um, I wonder though, was that trash talk or not? I don't think it was. It seemed like Vic didn't take it as that. Um, but I don't know. He at least answered the question. He answered every question. I can't believe they asked him about who trash talked him the most. That's wild. That's a wild question. It's a question nonetheless, though. 